uh, Mr. Dom, during this last legislative session, you voted against House Bill 1010 Double X, and and I'm curious, are you a no tax, no new taxes ever, or do you see a scenario under which you would vote for a tax increase of, of any kind? Yes, I voted against House Bill 1010 XX, and I would continue to make that vote every time. I voted against the largest tax increase in state history. Yes. That's not something I shy away from. And it was the largest tax increase in state history on the hills of a huge rebound in which we are looking at, we will have between two and $300 million of extra money, of surplus, because the economy has rebounded. The, t the push for tax increases started over a year ago. Yes, when we were in an economic downturn, but things started to pick back up. And so they knew that this was the opportunity that we've all heard about, you can't let a good crisis go to waste. So there were those that were using this opportunity to pass the tax increases that they've been craving for forever. And so I voted against that, and I would vote against that every time. Now there were some taxes in there were some taxes in there that, that some people would say, well, yeah, but it's just a use tax. You know, cigarettes, it's just a use tax or a sin tax. You know, with on your on your vehicles with the gas and diesel, it's just a use tax. Well, if you want to talk about if we're going to transition over and do away with our income tax and move solely to a use tax or to a sales tax or something, that's a conversation that we could have. But no, I would not vote for tax increases. And additionally, something else that I want to address, one of the other questions you ask, how do we balance the budget? I am a huge proponent of the penny plan. If you haven't heard of it, I would encourage you to look it up. It would cut 1% of the federal budget for all agencies every year, year upon year for six years. You can't tell me that there's any federal agency that cannot sustain a 1% cut. You know that they have bloat, you know that they have waste, you know that they are not managing the money correctly. If we did that within six years, we would have a balanced budget. We would no longer have deficit spending. That's a huge step forward. I would be a huge proponent of that, and I would continue to support and work towards that.